If you've been involved in an accident due to the negligence of others which has resulted in a facial muscle personal injury, it's likely that you may wish to bring a claim for compensation. I'm Jack from legalexpert.co.uk and in this video I'll not only be going over when we believe you should bring a claim if you've been involved in a facial muscle personal injury accident, but also some of the steps you can take to help ensure that your claim is as successful as possible as well as what we believe to be the best way to bring a claim. If you have any questions, we have a free phone helpline where you can talk to one of our team on a no obligation basis where they'll aim to get you the help that you need if you've been the victim of negligence. Call now on 0800 652 7676 and one of our team will do their best to assist you. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. So you've been involved in a facial muscle personal injury accident which was caused due to the negligence of others and you wish to bring a claim for compensation but you're unsure of when the best time to bring a claim for compensation for your facial muscle personal injury may be. We believe that in order to help your claim be as successful as possible, in almost all cases the best time to bring a claim is as close to the time of the accident as is possible. The reason for this is because it will be much easier to gather evidence in support of your claim. This could include but is not limited to being seen by a medical professional as soon as possible after the accident. Not only will this mean that you received the most appropriate treatment, but also the fact that you've attended for treatment will be evidence you can use to show you were injured. In terms of the claims process, any records from these medical assessments may be used as evidence to help demonstrate the severity of your injury. Now, when it comes to gathering evidence, it's important that you speak to anybody that may have witnessed the accident which resulted in your injury and ask for a copy of their contact detail, as well as taking photographs of the accident location and what specifically caused your injury, as well as may Taking note of whether there were any CCTV cameras which may be recorded over or wiped if you delay, covering the area in which the accident occurred. And you must, if possible, ensure that an accident report is completed. These steps are all steps that should be taken in the immediate aftermath of an accident and depending on the circumstance, the order in which they are done may differ, but if you wish to bring a claim for compensation then you should do all you can to ensure that these steps are taken. Now, these are only some of the steps you may take to help gather evidence as certain types of accidents may require certain forms of evidence. An example of this would be if you tripped on a raised paving flag. Taking a photograph of the raised area and using a coin or even tape measure to help demonstrate the size of the defect would be recommended and in this instance it should be done as soon as possible as it may be repaired after your accident. Finally, when it comes to time scales, it's vitally important that you remember that for most personal injuries, the claim time limit is three years. Whilst there are a number of very few circumstances which allow an individual to bring a claim outside of this window, in almost all cases, the victim of an accident has just three years from the date of the accident to bring a claim. This is why we recommend that you act as soon as possible, as if something unexpected happens in your life and you don't have time to bring a claim for your facial muscle personal injury, or you forget to bring it within three years, your options for compensation become severely limited, if any. Any. This brings me on to how bringing a claim can often be a time-consuming exercise for an individual, which is why we recommend that anyone who wishes to bring a claim enlists the services of a professional with the experience of handling countless cases just like yours. We recommend that you contact a facial muscle personal injury claim specialist like ourselves, legalexpert.co.uk. We offer a no win, no fee service, which means that as long as you're honest in your account of how the accident happened, you can get a professional working on securing the compensation that you deserve for your compensation claim right away without having to worry about paying any upfront fees. Call now on 0800 652 7676 or use the live chat service at legalexpert.co.uk to see if we're able to assist you in pursuing the compensation that you deserve. We're open 24 hours a day, seven days per week, and we offer a completely free, zero obligation consultation. We will talk through the incident with you in order to help you establish whether or not we believe you may have a claim. Our team may be able to discuss how much compensation do you get for Soft Tissue Injury UK, Pain and Suffering Settlement Examples UK, what is the average payout for a Personal Injury Claim UK, Soft Tissue Injury Claim Value UK, Average Compensation for Soft Tissue Injury UK, Average Payout for Soft Tissue Injury UK, List of Compensation Payouts UK and Facial Injury Compensation Calculator. Don't forget to subscribe as we'll be uploading helpful videos just like this one on a regular basis. Or you can check out one of our recommended videos or head over to legalexpert.co.uk where you can read community questions on our forum, get free advice on our live chat, read articles and seek assistance for compensation on a no win no fee basis for your personal injury claim.